Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica. I recently gave the reverse hair washing method a try. So today I'm going to share my experience along with photos. So make sure you watch till the end because I think you're going to be just as surprised with the results as I was. I'm going to start by explaining a little bit about what the reverse hair washing method is along with its benefits and then I'll share exactly what happened. Before I go on, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so you can watch more videos like this. The reverse hair washing method is exactly what it sounds like. You reverse the products. So you condition your hair first and then you shampoo. What this is supposed to do is it deeply conditions your hair without weighing it down. And the shampoo is going to remove all the buildup and that excess conditioner that usually weighs your hair down. By washing your hair this way, it's supposed to add more shine and volume, minimizes frizz, and it makes your hair a lot more healthier. According to what I've read, the reverse hair washing is fine for all hair types. So if you have dry hair, oily hair, damaged hair, it's going to work for all hair types. So I was really excited about giving this a try. I watched a lot of TikTok videos and YouTube videos and I read about it and it seemed simple enough and there was, in my opinion, no way that you could make any kind of mistake. Like it's either gonna work or it's not, but it didn't seem like there would be any bad results. Now I hadn't thought of looking up any bad results. I just assumed that there wouldn't be bad results. So now on to what happened to me. So what I did is I did exactly what the instructions state to do. So you condition your hair first and then you shampoo shampoo your hair. Simple, right? I did exactly that. And then I did what I normally do after I take a shower, which is to let my hair air dry. I didn't apply any heat. And when I saw the results, I was completely shocked. You know, my thumbnail where it says jaw dropping results, I really meant that my jaw fell open when I looked in the mirror and I saw what happened to my hair. So I'm going to share some photos with you so you can see what my hair looked like after I did the reverse hair washing. I took the before photo right before I hopped into the shower. The after photo is what my hair looked like after I reverse hair washed my hair and let it air dry. As you can see, there is a lot of frizz. My hair was like a big poof ball. I was completely shocked. My hair is by no means perfect. It's, I have frizz. My hair is dry, not super dry, but I've got dry hair. I have to add a little extra to my hair to keep it moisturized, but my hair is not that bad. I have never had hair that bad. And I live in a very humid area and that is probably the worst my hair has ever been. I could not believe it. Here's a couple of other photos of my hair before and after. This was in the thumbnail. So the before photo is what my hair looks like once I fix it up and you know try to make it look nice. And the after photo is actually after I try to fix the frizz. It just got even poofier and frizzier. I didn't want to get back in the shower and wash my hair again because my hair is on the dry side and I was afraid that if I washed my hair again, it was just gonna make it worse. So I decided to wait until my next wash day, which was in four days. While I waited for my wash day, I started doing even more research. I wish I had spent more time reading about this and researching it. I thought I had done enough, but apparently I hadn't because once I started digging deeper, I realized that it just doesn't work for everybody. So I really believe that this does work and unfortunately did not work for my hair. I found an article that explains what could happen. I'm going to put the link to that article down at the bottom in the description box, so that way you can go look at it later. I'm gonna read a quote that explains what could go wrong for some people. This quote comes from a cosmetic chemist by the name of Tonia Lane. This is what she says about reverse hair washing. Shampoo does a great job of cleansing the scalp, but not so much on the cuticle, hence the reason why we follow up with conditioner. Shampoos have cleansing suffocants that carry negative energy charges. When left on the cuticle, it makes them dry and frizzy. That's what happened to my hair. Conditioner comes in to save the day and smooths the cuticle because it has positive charges that attract the negative charges and balance everything out. I think that's what happened to my hair. Negative charge just stayed on there and there was nothing to balance it out with the positive charge and the result is a big poof ball like what I ended up with. 
That was quite a learning experience. I'm glad it was a, an easy fix. I just had to wash my hair. I think it's even still a little poofy here and there. The next time I do something like this, I'm going to kind of spot treat it. I should have just done a little section of my hair to see how my hair would react to it. But who would have thought that just by reversing the conditioner and shampoo that it would do that to my hair. So that is my experience with reverse hair washing. If you have given it a try, let me know in the comments if it worked out for you or your results like mine. It's just the big big poof ball of hair. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.